the next one. <clears throat> uh, this one says that a polar function is given by uh, r is equal to negative 1 plus sine theta. And as theta increases in 0 to pi over 2, which are the following is true about the points in the graph of r? Okay, it's easy because from 0 to pi over 2, we just have to find the behavior of sine. From 0 to pi over 2, the sine function behaves like this. It just keeps on increasing, right? Okay. The value of r is negative 1 plus sine theta or we can say it's sine theta minus 1. Since the value of r keeps, so sine theta keeps increasing, so can we say that initially the value was let's say negative 1, then it might have become negative 1 over 2, then might have become or maybe I'll put that in decimal, negative 0.5, then negative 0.4, then negative 0.2, then negative 0.1, because this value keeps increasing in the positive direction and becomes a maximum of one at sine pi over two, because sine pi over two is just, and when uh, sine pi over two is just one and one minus one is zero, and eventually it becomes zero. So they're asking that, what is this pattern? What is happening over here? Let's read the question, uh, let's read the options. The points on the graph are above the x-axis, no way. Because if they are above the x-axis and getting closer to the origin, that won't really work because these are not above the x-axis. Here the value of r is negative. It has to be below the x-axis. So above and above are just ruled out. Points are below the x-axis and getting closer to the origin. Points are below the x-axis and getting further from the origin. Obviously, the points are eventually getting towards the origin, closer to the origin. So the answer is option. C. This was a little bit tricky, but I hope this makes